Morning. Um, just got up. I'm going to get ready for gym. I've got back and buys today. Maybe start with a little bit of shoulder press, though, just to get one in because I've missed out on previous weeks. I've injured my back a bit through a heavy deadlift anyway, so I've got a bit of a bit of pain on my lower back. Um, I've had some shredded wheat for breakfast just to have a little, little bit of boost and have a full breakfast when I get back. Um, slept pretty well anyway. So let's see how this day goes, really. So the plan for today is cycle to the gym and then basically come back and just do my dissertation all day. Get a couple of videos in there during and then maybe go for a second session in the afternoon. Bit of core and things, build up that strength in the middle section. But yeah, bar that, just enjoy the nice day. change of plan. Um, I didn't realise because it's holidays at the moment, so Easter holidays. Uh, I haven't realised that uh, the elite times are still on, so that's for sort of pro athletes, so like uh, GB athletes and whatnot, and uh, Nat 1 rugby players and things like that, and MCCU cricket, so obviously I can't get in, so <laughs> I'm going to have to either wait till 12 or 4 and after basically to go to the gym. Just a, a slight change in routine, that's all it is, it's not, not a massive issue. Um, so I'm going to make breakfast now, just before I've been doing a thing every day where I do full sets of 25 press ups, just sort of to better myself a little bit, just improve my press ups, because they've sort of gone downhill a bit, I'm still pretty good at them, but they've gone downhill a bit, so I just want to improve that really, so let's get this done. My chest is very tired after a chest day yesterday, so I've got quite a lot of fatigue. Got DOMS coming in now, so very sore. But um, got those done, so it's all sorted. So a little talk about what I'm going to do over Easter. So I'm firstly going to London on the 19th to the 22nd. My brother's DJing there, so I'm going to go watch his first like big gig. Um, and I'm with my girlfriend for the last bit, so have a nice time in London really. While that in the middle, I'm just training and working, so I'm working in the pub. Just got to get my dissertation done, so it's more, more just knuckling down and doing that. But um, with the training methods, I'm doing sevens when I get back, so I've got uh, Loughborough sevens over in Leeds on the, on the 2nd, I think, 2nd, 2nd of May. Um, so I've just got to keep going with that, really. Um, but the type of methods I'll do, I'll probably do a lot of fartlek training, so sort of speed play, so going at high intensity, then slowing down for a bit, high intensity, slowing down, but keeping the pace going, so keeping constant movement. It's almost replicating sevens, and then due to my back injury, I think I'm going to do a lot lighter sessions at the moment. Just build back up to a heavy weight in about four or five weeks. Just like, because I've got, I think a bit of a rest will do me good anyway. So um, just sort of work on that injury prevention for the future, rather than trying to just get back up to the weight I was and re-injure myself really. So I've got to keep going with that. I'm going to make breakfast, so I'm going to have five eggs, scrambled egg, on some brown bread, with a bit of spinach on the side. It's pretty my normal breakfast. Um, yeah, and have a cup of tea on the side as well. Just a bit of caffeine, it's always good. But yeah, it's pretty much my normal breakfast. It's quite low fat, so it's always quite good, and there's a lot of vitamins in there, a lot of protein, obviously, and a bit of carbohydrate to keep you going throughout the day. Um... Yeah, and uh, then I'm just going to go upstairs, knuckle down on my desk maybe. I'll show you, some, show you some of the work I'm doing, really, and try and explain actually what I was doing. So, But um, yeah, so I'm going to make breakfast, have some food, show you what I'm eating. So i got breakfast made now. It's like, can you see? There you go. Six eggs, spinach, brown toast. That's all you need, sorted for the morning. Got my cup of tea, make an owl mug. Um, yeah, just about to watch a little bit of Big Bang. Uh, catch up on the latest season anyway, which I'm enjoying. But um, yeah, so I'll eat this. Maybe a little chat afterwards. But yeah, I'm pretty damn hungry, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat this anyway. Base now. Um, just about to start the shoulder press, so I'll do like three by five sets. I'm heavy in the middle, work up to one heavy single. We'll see how my back feels, really. That's all we gotta do.
One more set to go. Backspin actually pretty good today, which is good. So I'm not going to push it too much. But I'll do some heavy, heavy singles off this and um, see how that goes really. Let's do my final set of reps and let's go from here. And my um, went up to a heavy single on 70, three sets of that. Now I'm about to do bison and back basically. So I've got lap pull down, three sets of eight, and the final set, you enter into reverse grip and do another set of eight on a lighter weight. So I'll probably work up to about 80 kilos on the lap pull down. So then we'll move on to some pull, more pulls. So I've got another pull movement after that. So I'll come back to you after the sets. Time to get a pump now. It's good. So I'm bicep back. I basically just work on bodybuilding stuff. Just building up a bit of mass, a bit of size. Because I have a deadlift day on separate days, so I don't really need to build the power up where I'm going for. It's more just getting a bit of tension in there, toning up a bit. It's more extras than anything. So let's see the final set. Now with tight grip on 30 kilos on each side, so 60 kilos. Which can go for a high rep range with three sets of 12. Let's see how that goes. into oh, barbell curl and then into eight hammer curl for three sets, super set. So see how that goes, my arms are pretty dead already really. Crossover curls and reverse grip and over rows. Um, got some, got some isolated um, in, incline curls now, and then I'll go on some cable stuff, and then I'm pretty much done. Arms are pretty dead, so all the suit sets just kind of wrecks you because of fatigue and stuff. So let's see how these go. Yeah, 
So you just hang at the bottom and then power up for about five reps, three sets. Then we're done. Then we get home and eat, get a shake, and carry on with my dish. Let's carry on. Tighter grip now and you keep moving the grip in basically, it's just a finisher while your lats are all tired and stuff and tight. Okay. <laughs> So basically did started with some back, go into buys and you go back into back to finish off. So to really fatigue those arms so you can actually start really incorporating that back by like isolating it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna make a shake now. So probably two two scoops of impact whey. Got some Ben and Jerry's ice cream, whack that in, just get more calories in. Some milk. Um yeah, so to actually make just a nice shake really. And a throw a banana in there as well. Um Pretty tired now, so my arms are starting to be pretty dead. I'm just going to do my coursework all afternoon, do abs at night, another meal, and then get to bed really. But I'll talk to you about my coursework in a bit anyway, just to show, explain what I'm doing and see, see what you guys think really. So basically, I've compilized all my data. So my title of my dissertation is Does Thermal Stress and Mental Fatigue Affect Gross and Fine Manipulation? So that's sort of like if you're, say, under mental fatigue, which is example after exam, and you're put in a hot environment, would that affect how you operate something? And I've applied this to a military application. So see, seeing how this would affect people in the field, really. So I've imitated an idea, an idea, and these are the results I've got. And I've, all I've done is compile them into the six different sections. I've got eight participants per thing, so it's 54 data sheets. So it's taken me ages, but finally got it done. It's a little bit on what I've done for my dissertation and the work I sort of do at uni. So maybe I'll, if anyone's interested, I'll carry on like going a bit down, more down that route. You can see I've just had some wheat bix, a bit hungry then. And then for supper I'm gonna make some spaghetti, chicken spaghetti with some a bit of chili, chili and red sauce. So it'll go a bit darker and it'll be quite nice really. And then I'll have a small snack before bed. I'm gonna be a quick, a quick video log before bed. That's about it really. So just about to start abs, I'm gonna do Basically quite a light session today, quite a big ab session yesterday. So I'm going to do 25 leg raises, 15 um, elbow to knees, but 15 on each leg, so that's about 30 in total. And then some leg uh, straightening, so basically just work that low a bit. And then you do about 10 of those, all continuous, one set, uh, just, just to keep that ab moving, really get a bit of blood inside it. Just get that toning still going for summer, anyway. So just completed abs. Quick one minute 30 blitz really, to keep everything ticking over. Um, just gonna go make supper, and then um, and done for the day really. Anyway. So just had uh, my supper, 
I had uh, spaghetti with chicken and some red pesto sauce and with some vegetables and things and garlic and things in it. Quite a healthy meal really, very full now. It's a pint of water during it, but um, staying hydrated is so important. Even even for simple as in injury prevention, like staying hydrated, the more hydrated you are in general, it'll mean that your muscles stay more elastic. Whereas if you're dehydrated, they'll become tighter and can, if you're doing working high, high levels, can tear them. You'll see it in bodybuilding and things like that in shows. They will tear muscles due to that. Sometimes due to literally just due to the hypertension in their legs, just because there's no giving them once all the once all the water goes. I know it makes you look a bit more cut. If it's a show, it's worth it. Obviously, in day to day stuff, you will perform better in the gym if you're hydrated. So that's pretty important anyway. But yeah, just gonna watch Walking Dead tonight. Uh, it's coming up to build up, so I'm pretty excited. Um, and basically, get an early night off that really. Just keep working. Back home on Wednesday, so go through London, then back home. Um, excited to see my dogs. So, yeah. I'll see you maybe, I'll probably produce another one in next week or something. But anyway, good night for now.